Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my channel. So today we are going to deal uh, with programmatic connection between ESP microcontroller and Mosquito MQTT broker. And in this example, I'm going to use my local Mosquito broker with uh, SSL encryption enabled and ESP8266 microcontroller. And if for some reason you don't want to deal with SSL encryption, you could just neglect that part. And before we start, I have to say that this episode is just part of a series of tutorials about MQTT. So it's strongly recommended for you to check out my channel. And now I'm using Visual Studio Code IDE, but you could use uh, any other IDE that you like. And the uh, first thing that uh, we should do is uh, to include one library. In Visual Studio Code, you can do it uh, with uh, platform uh, io.ini. And with lib dependencies, uh, you should uh, add uh, this line. But with Visual Studio Code, there is another way. Uh, go to your uh, platform IO uh, and uh, with uh, PIO Home, go to Open, then go to Libraries and search for Adafruit MQTT Client. Check for it. It's here, Adafruit MQTT library. Check it and add to project. Select your project name. My it's uh, ESP8266 uh, MQTT and click on add. And once again, we are going to get back to our platform uh, io.ini with this line. Okay, I'm going to close these two documents and now I'm going to include that library and we need two include statements it's adafruit uh, mqtt.h and another adafruit mqtt client.h we are going to need the uh, library ESP8266 Wi-Fi and include Wi-Fi not secure it's client secure and now check this out I'm going to open my uh, local directory so in here it's our project and uh, in this directory we have both project for Python and for C and here I'm also keeping uh, this uh, third uh, folder open it uh, and in previous cases we dealt with uh, certificate authority certificate now we are just going to deal with a broker certificate and we actually need only one piece of data from uh, this document I'm going to open it and check out this is what we need we need SHA1 uh, fingerprint so I'm just going to copy this piece of data and I'm going to define it define fingerprint All right. So this piece of data from our uh, broker certificate, it's uh, necessary in order to enable encryption uh, on our uh, ESP8266 microcontroller. So what else we need? Define SSID. And I'm going to type this data later on because you don't have to know my credentials. Another it's define LAN password, same case, now define server and server it's uh, on my uh, local mach machine on my local IP address. 192.168.0.24 now define just port port number and 
and this port number it's a default with mosquito broker uh, when we are using SSL next one username our username it's Donny define password password it's four zeros and that's all for this first part now we are going to need our uh, connection objects uh, so first what we need it's Wi-Fi client secure call it CL then Ada fruit MQTT client call it MQTT then Ada fruit publish call it publishing and Ada fruit subscribe call it subscribing but these three objects are pointers you are going to see why in a minute okay so first thing that we are going to do in our uh, void setup is to set fingerprint so with cl set fingerprint and provide fingerprint and now we are going to create uh, instances uh, of our objects so first is going to be mqtt with a new keyword ada fruit mqtt client so first argument it's address of our secure client then we need server then we need port now user name and we need password all right now publishing publishing new adafruit mqtt publishing first argument is going to be our mqtt our topic topic it's secret and we need the quality of service a one and keep in mind uh, for some reason when you put quality of uh, service two as argument this method is not going to work now we are going to use subscribing new adafruit subscribe of course mqtt is going to be first argument and same like in previous case secret and one and now we are just going to initialize our uh, serial with bound rate of 9600 we are going to print something 20 line and connecting now we are going to initialize our Wi-Fi with SSID and password now we are going to uh, wait until we are connected Wi-Fi status it's not to VL connected and while we are not connected we are going to make delay of let's say 500 milliseconds and we are going to print asterisk to the screen all right and now after we are uh, connected first thing that we are going to do we are going to print empty line and another line with to address 
Now I'm just going to put all of this into single line. And now with printing uh, another line, uh, we are going to put Vi Phi local IP. And at the end of our uh, void setup, we are going to use our MQTT and we are going to subscribe to subscribing all right remove unnecessary empty space and now in our uh, void loop uh, first thing that we are going to do we are going to call mqtt connect function that we are going to uh, create soon and before we continue i am going to uh, define this function up here so it's going to be just void and function name okay later on we are going to uh, write this function for now i'm just going to uh, continue with void loop so first thing that we need now it's ada fruit mqtt subscribe call it subscription this is temporal object and now we are going to listen for uh, incoming messages we need another pair of uh, brackets subscription equals mqtt read subscriptions we are going to uh, listen for incoming messages for five seconds and now if subscription equals subscripting meaning that message that we received as the exact same parameter like uh, like message from our subscribing object basically what it means it's that uh, message is published to a secret topic okay now what we are going to do First, we are going to print message, column, space, and now we are going to print line, subscribing, last read, meaning uh, last message, but we have to cast this to char pointer now it's fine okay and now we are going to use another uh, if statement so if not publishing publish and we are going to provide some message that is going to be published uh, to our broker this is message from ESP8266 microcontroller all right so what this actually means means that we are going to uh, publish this uh, message from our microcontroller to our broker but if for some reason we cannot do it uh, then code uh, from uh, this line is going to be executed and we are just going to print error while publishing okay else meaning that we have successfully sent our message we are going to print everything is fine and that's all for void loop and and for the end we are going to deal with this function mq tt underscore connect and this function is going to check after our mqtt connection so if we are not connected this function is going to make that connection and if we are already connected this function is going to return 
and if connection is not established usual practice is to uh, try a couple of times so for that reason i'm going to create integer variable return set it to zero or don't give it any value it doesn't matter so first thing that we are going to check if mqtt it's connected if it is we are just going to return so nothing is going to be executed now i'm going to create another integer variable call it x and give it value of 5 or even better call it counter and we are going to use this variable in order to count how many times we have tried to connect. Okay, I am going to use while loop, another pair of brackets inside, return, we are going to uh, keep return uh, code in here, mqtt connect. Now we are just going to try to connect with uh, this uh, function and while return code it's not zero meaning we are not connected we are going to execute uh, code uh, from uh, these lines so first we are going to print message with ln and first what i'm going to print it's mqtt connection error string from this return code So in order for us uh, to know what's wrong now return code but in here I'm just going to print and now with ln we are going to print this return code to the screen and I want to print something else serial print ln from our client get last SSL error in case that we have SSL error then we are going to use MQTT disconnect and we are going to make delay of three seconds between two tries and now we are going to subtract one from counter and if our counter reaches zero we don't need these brackets we are just going to break out all right but if uh, everything is fine we are going to print like our mqtt connection is established okay this is fine uh, i'm going to build this code now uh, well i have to add my credentials first let's wait a little bit until this is done Okay, we have successfully uh, compiled this code and now I'm just going to add uh, my credentials in these two lines and we are going to continue with compiling and with uploading. Okay, now we have everything in place. Uh, so first I'm going to compile this code once again. All right, now I'm going to upload it to my ESP8266 microcontroller. Okay, something's wrong. Let me try it again. Okay, it's going now. All right, now I'm going to open uh, my serial monitor. MQTT connection is established. Everything is fine and we are sending this message to our broker okay now i'm going to open my mqtt explorer all right and i'm going to connect uh, to uh, my broker with another 
client so connect let's see we have to uh, see that message in here okay we have a secret message this is message from esp8266 microcontroller and i'm going to uh, publish also to secret topic rough text and i'm going to publish hey from mqtt explorer ideally we are going to see that message in here i'm going to publish okay message hey from mqtt explorer uh, so guys that's all from uh, this episode uh, thank you for watching i hope that you have learned something interesting so please like subscribe and see ya